Kelly Maroon of University Hospitals. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, here, what am I doing here? What is this? These are implantable cardiac defibrillators, um, ICDs. They are put in for patients who are at risk of sudden cardiac death or life-threatening arrhythmias. These are the leads that go through the vein and they plug into the top of the devices and they get implanted underneath the skin. They're like inside the heart. So Kelly, these people have not had a heart attack? Pardon me? The people using these have not had a heart attack? Some have and some are just at risk for various reasons, different cardiomyopathies. Um, they could be caused from a virus. Any damage to the heart muscle where the pump is weak can put you at risk. And is this the kind of thing that once you have it, you have it for life? Does it get changed? Does It, it gets changed out. Um, the battery life lasts 7 to 10 years, depending on how much you use it. It's like any other battery. Now, as a uh, non-professional looking at it, I'm thinking this is pretty thick to be going through a vein and this under my skin. Obviously, that's not an issue, though. The veins are much bigger than you think. Um, they're able to accommodate two, up to two to three leads, sometimes even more. They'll put two to three in? Yep. That's amazing. And I, you can obviously have this done at UH. Yes. Uh, you go to a cardiologist and they recommend it, or if you're having heart problems, you go to him and ask for it, or what? Usually, um, if you're having heart problems, they'll send you for an echocardiogram. If you meet criteria, they usually send you to an electrophysiologist, which is a cardiac doctor that specializes in the electrical functioning of the heart. And it, that's who puts them in. And how would a person know, you know what, it's time, I better go to a cardiologist or I better go to a doctor? If you're having symptoms of leg swelling, shortness of breath, any kind of chest pain, palpitations, those are all things that you would want to see your doctor about, shortness of breath. And is this pretty much true for men and women? Yes. Okay, well, Kelly, thank you very much. Thank you.